Hey everybody, welcome back to Costume Quest 1. Today, we are going to be wrapping things up with this game. We are going to be completing the Grubbins on Ice DLC, and we are going to be unlocking the remaining five achievements. So let's just go ahead and get started right where we left off. We are looking for the Traubog Elder. So let's head on over to the right. We are going to be avoiding the guard over here, and we're going to walk down, speak to the Traubog Elder, so that way we can gain access to the left area over there. So uh, yeah, that is just what is up. We definitely have a lot of searching still left to do. We need to locate the eyeball costume, but um, we'll get to all of that, I am sure. First things first, let's go ahead and talk to the elder over here. Nice pagoda, you must be the Traubog elder. That's funny, that's funny, because the previous elder, the Grubbin elder, had a pagoda. I think it was a gr Grubbin at least. Yeah, I'm the geezer around here, whatever that's worth anymore. This pagoda used to mean something. Araxia and the Rapugiarchs trashed most of our Traubog culture when they took over. That's a bummer. You guys seemed so steeped in culture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, not all was lost. Legend has it that the Tome of the Traubog still exists deep in a cliff cave somewhere. If it's real, it is the oldest Traubog artifact and would help us to restore some of our heritage. But we can't get to it because we're too fat for the rickety catwalks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? You think we want to go on those rickety catwalks? You will? What heroes? <laughs> You can find the walks and you can find the catwalks on the west side of town. Get moving. Wait, I didn't say. Oh, all right. Fine. We'll look for your crusty tome. Traubog morale depends on it. Cool. Cool. The crusty tome. That is what we're going to be locating. So is the west side. Uh, is it is it where we were getting blocked off or is it right here? Is this? No, no, this isn't the, the way, is it? I, I don't know which way we're supposed to go to get to these rickety, uh, rickety things. Let's first start off on the left side. We're going to go to the left side because I think it's uh like it's the path that was previously blocked off if we just talk to that person i think we'll be able to uh, complete things over there so let's really quickly just make our way over there we'll test if not we'll just go right back to the area we were at do some trick-or-treating clear out those areas yada 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 you get it step aside please the elder wants us to find a book in here somewhere the elder wants humans in our heritage site is nothing sacred the tome of the trial bugs is sacred -er, apparently please move <laughs> sweet so yeah i was right we were uh, headed into here and we got another zip line. I think this is our fourth zip line. One more zip line, and we unlock an achievement. So let's go. Nice. Love to see it. All right, got to keep an eye out for that last zip line, guys. All right. Oh, is this it? Okay, no, no. It's a cave of confusion. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. I thought that was the tome immediately. I was like, what? We're getting the tome right away? But this is a cave of confusion. So we need to remember which way we go. We've taken, uh, we've gone straight. What do you suppose it means? Should we follow that? Well, it must mean something. They wouldn't carve it here for no reason. Should we be following the candy corn? Huh. Those rocks will knock our brains loose. I'm going. I'm not going through there without some protection. Uh, we're talking about this, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, guys. We got this. Okay, so we're going to follow the candy corn. Is this it? What is this? Okay, we got some candy. Nice. Oh, so is that pointing us towards candy? It's not going to be pointing us towards the tome. Okay, I see you. I see you. So let's see what's over here. Are we back where we started? Here again, but something feels different now. Oh, yeah, yeah. The right. Yeah, the cave on the right is no longer blocked. Let's check it out. This is fun. I'm digging this so far. What's going on here? Uh, Okay, so we got rocks there. We got no rocks here, so let's go down. We're back here. Um, Okay, let's just go straight first. Let's see what's straight ahead of us, and then we'll decide from there. So yeah, let's take a left. Let's take a left opposite of where it's pointing you know oh we're right back here interesting hmm i'm gonna go straight i'm gonna check that path out let's see what we got over there this is cool i'm digging this i'm digging this actually okay all right here we go so let's check out the right path we just got to keep testing we just got to keep testing uh, i checked the bottom so we're gonna check the right and if it brings us back to the beginning yeah we're gonna check the top okay we're figuring it out we're slowly but surely getting things figured out all right so let's see. What do we got? Oh, okay. Whoa. Wow, it's dark in here. I wonder what we'd find if we had a bright light. I got you guys. I got you. Here's our bright light. Oh. So we want to head into this direction right here. Oh, I dig it. I'm, I'm loving this right now. Okay. And are we following the candy corn there? Uh, We are headed to the wheel on the left. Oh, interesting. So we don't want to go straight. We want to head to the wheel on the left. Oh. All right, is this it? Is this the tome? What do we got? What do we got? Just candy? Not too bad. Not too bad. So does that mean we're going the wrong way? Let, let's go straight. We might have taken a wrong turn here. Oh, yeah, we did. 
But look at that. Yeah, the cave on the left. Great, great, great. I think we're making it in the proper direction. Okay, so this one is right above us. So we're going that way. Interesting. What? Where do we go next? Oh, okay. Whoa, it's a big troll bug. It's, it's, uh, it's doing that. So whatever that dance is. Whatever that... Is that Egyptian? Is that the Egyptian thing? Doing that dance. Yeah, it is like hieroglyphics, honestly. All right, let's go. Bam. Okay. All right. So just keep moving. Just keep moving. We're going to keep resetting. We're going to hopefully figure things out. Okay, so we go straight up. All right, so this is how it goes. We go left, we go straight, and then from here, we just got to guess. We have a dancer. So does that mean the dancer wants us to go where it, its head is pointed, maybe? I don't know. No? Okay. All right, so let's just go straight. We go up. And then we go right, because I tried both left and up. So we'll try the right this time. What do we got? Here we go. We have an enemy in our path. Something tells me we got to fight him. Something tells me we got to fight him. We're going to exhaust all of our options first. Oh, man, that's going to suck. It's fine, though. It's fine. We're going to exhaust all our options first, and then we're going to try to fight the enemy. If we can, you know, avoid fighting, that's, that's great. You know, that's great. Which way was it? Was it right? I think it was right. Are we going the correct way? I hope so. I was not paying attention. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. So is this the correct way? Nope. So it looks like we have to fight that enemy. Okay. All right, we got this, guys. All right, I believe in us. I think we can do it. We can do it. We can definitely do it, okay? Bam. Go, go, go. All right. Come here. Come here, you were puggy and soldier. Chest bump. I should have tried for a... Uh, I should have tried for a sneak attack so that way we could do some easy damage. I just walked, like, straight into them. That's my mistake. That is foolish of me, at the very least. Okay, let's go. Let's finish them off. Bam. Bam. Nicely done. All right, we're doing great, guys. I wonder if I put poison on each of my allies. Like, a, sa a similar splash damage and damage over time uh, battle stamp. How much damage do you think it would do across all of the enemies if we assigned a damage over time or, like, splash damage? battle stamp teach them i think that'd be pretty cool that would like wipe out enemies really really quickly but it would leave us vulnerable because we wouldn't have like the counter attacks like this right here we wouldn't have the healing forever it so you know i guess you gotta have a balance with your battle stamps but i think it'd be really interesting to go like really hard in one section like in one uh attribute i think that'd be interesting but that's just something we can theorize about we're not gonna actually do it it's all good it's all good we're, we're being smart we're taking these enemies out as efficiently as possible and they're about to be taken out real easy, that's for sure. Nice and on. Nice and on. Let's take you out too. Bam. Nice and on. All right, just a few more. Just a few more and we got this. Bam. Yeah, good parry, good parry. And let's get going now. Bam. I actually totally didn't realize I was in the, uh, in the knight costume. So I can't actually use a special to attack. I only have like the protective special, which isn't awful, you know. I still think it's very useful, but I just totally took in that I was using the knight. But it's it's just because we had to navigate the cave and like protect ourselves as we were going through, so I had to do it. Is this the correct way? Look at that. We did go the correct way. That's awesome. All right, what's next? Okay, this is very confusing. So we have a symbol at the top over there. So if we go to the right, that should be the correct path. Let's see it. All right, there we go. And what's next? We've got the face down below. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So then we go down below. And then, is this it? Is this the tome? Let's see it. Oh, there we go. You got the tome of the troll bugs. The troll bug elder is waiting for this. We got you. We got you. And there we go. Why didn't they just, like, go up this way? They could have just gone right around. They didn't have to go through all that. They could have just gone out the easy way. Or gone, like, through the exit, you know? It's fine, though. It's fine. Here's your moldy book. It was a pain to find. You found it. Quick. Let me see. Wow, this is even better than I imagined. I Allow me to read you a passage as your reward. What's brown and sticky? Ew, can you just open the gate for our reward instead? Give it up. It's a stick. <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually a good joke. I've never heard that. Brown and sticky. This tome is going to help morale for sure. We, weren't there all, we went through all that for a stupid joke book. Jokes are the foundation of our heritage. If you don't like it, no one is forcing you to stay. Yeah, honestly. 
Honestly, come on, Ren. Don't be such a jerk. Okay, let's continue on. We'll check out uh, this area. Come on, please don't attack us. Damn. All right. Viva Rapugia this. Okay. All right, buddy. Chill out. Chill out now. Yeah, look at that. We we're in the space, man. Space, space person, space woman, space person, whatever you want to call it. We're in the space outfit. That's what matters. I got, I guess I'm flying around in here. Pardon me. <laughs> um, let's take out the cultists because they are going to do some, uh, you know, things that are going to either buff or heal. You know, we don't want that. Let's go. Bam. All right. And bam. Yeah. Nice and done. All right. They'll be taken out by the end of uh, next round. So we're good. Hopefully they don't heal this round. That would be pretty annoying. Yeah. Get that counter attack and everybody just go and go and attack Reynolds, please. Just please keep that up. Yeah, some good damage. Who are you attacking, huh? Are you healing? Oh, no, you're buffing. All right, I see you, I see you. Not too bad for us. Bam, there we go. We're about to finish these enemies off. Let's go. I'm not even going to attack the cultist. I'm just going to attack the hurler on the top. So that way, hopefully, we can take it out sooner than later. And the splash damage is taking out the cultist anyways. Kill two birds with one stone. You got to love it. Okay. Bam. Nice and done. And here we go. Hopefully, hopefully it takes a lot of damage by the end of the uh, next round. Let's see. It should, yeah, it's close. It's one attack away, so we got this, all right? We, we're gonna win. Don't you worry. But it does a lot of damage, even though I parried that, it did a ton because it's buffed. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay, these enemies are level 12. I actually didn't notice that. That's crazy, oh man. Okay, we got this, we got this. We're doing great so far, you know? We've only lost the first battle in this DLC, and that's only because it was scripted. You know, we had to lose it, to be fair. So, things have been going swimmingly. Things have been going great. All right, finish him off. Let's go, vampire. Yeah. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, let's move on. Sweet. Bubble onions and two-headed toddlers. Interesting. Very interesting. Level up. Let's go. We're level 12. All right, sweet. Let's see our quests. We are missing one, two, three, four, five. We are missing five of them. So, hmm. I wonder what they are. We'll come across them, of course. We have nine more houses left to check. We have three more kids to locate. All right, sweet. We're doing great so far. Honestly, we, we are breezing through a lot of this. I'm very happy about that. All right, let's go down. See what we got over here. Uh, I'm going to switch to the robot so that way we can go a little bit faster. All right, we got a house. Let me go ahead and check this area first. Oh, it's just uh, interesting. It just ends here. I see. I wonder what a satellite view of this place would look like. What? Is that supposed to say something? Are we supposed to like look off the edge? I had peripheral vision. It's so limiting. Are we supposed to interact with something specific here? I wish I were taller like one by 100 feet so I could see more stuff. What's he saying? Taller like this? What's he saying? Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> What's going on? That scared me. I didn't I didn't take in I didn't think we would fall. That's scary. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh, let's go. Short stack. What is this? We found the mysterious visitor in the cliffs of Rapugia. <laughs> okay. All right. Who's the mysterious visitor? Is it you? Charlie Blackmore? Whoa. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what's going on? Or is it this person right here? What is this costume supposed to be? Costume? Hey, kid. Have you seen any chimney sweeps around here? Chimney sweeps? What? <laughs> what's going on? Join Charlie Blackmore as he puzzles his way through a Victorian-themed diorama world on a grand adventure to save his family in Stacking, a new downloadable game coming soon from Double Fine Productions. I see, so it's an ad. <laughs> it's an ad. This was all just an ad. <laughs> that's, that's funny. That's funny. All right, well, you know what? We did that. I'm just glad we did that. We got an achievement. That's our first achievement from this DLC, so that is awesome. Four more, and we have everything completed for this game. Hey, <laughs> I'm not complaining. That's funny. That's funny. We got to wrap ourselves back around, though, so that way we can uh, go ahead and trick or treat at that at that uh, house we saw two seconds ago. Yeah. OK, so that's where the, the other exit was. But yeah, we have to go back down here to make our way over to this house. But isn't that funny? That was a freaking ad for a mobile game that may not even be in service anymore because this is like a 10 year old game, though. 13. No. Yeah. 13 year old game at this point. So. I wonder if it's even still on the app store. <laughs> Very interesting stuff. Okay. Just keep it moving. 
Just keep it moving. Let's see uh, what we can do in our next area. Because we just opened this by opening up the gate. Let's see if we can sneak past. I would love to not fight. Yeah, we totally can. Sweet. Love to see it. See how we're, we're going to move forward. We got ice up here. We got to be careful. Hopefully we don't start slipping or anything. Oh, is this where the uh, Crest Whalers live? I'd probably be more into Yeti Fest if I had kids. Oh, so this is where the Yeti Fest is. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started on this fighting. Uh, we're going to be looking out for one more zipline. I know we're about to come across it. I've got better things to do than to wait around for a Yeti. Okay, all right. Fair, fair, fair. What's going on here? Oh, they're asleep. Oh, we got apple bobbing. Let's go. We got apple bobbing. Of course, we can't have uh, we can't have uh, a DLC without apple bobbing. Hey, I don't have much, but I'll help any way I can. Thank you, Crest Whaler. I appreciate it. All right, so we're going to go down, clear out all of these houses of their candy, and then we're going to go do apple bobbing. Of course, we will not finish things up. We have to finish every single quest in this DLC, I do believe. Yeah, we have to complete all quests in Rapugia for an achievement. So we got to do that anyways. We got to go to apple bobbing. So uh, let's take care of that after this house. We're going to get in a fight. I can almost guarantee it, you know. Oh, what? Really? This is three. We, we've had three houses that we've hit. And all three of them were friendly. This is great. This is great. Thank you, Crest Whalers, for being so friendly to us. <laughs> we love that. We love that. Oh, wow. They're watching the Yeti over there? Interesting. I'm going to do apple bobbing first. Ew, did you say bobbing for eyeballs? Yes, indeed. It's a Yeti Fest tradition. Give it a try. You must be out of your mind. Why would I put eyeballs in my mouth? Candy and prizes. Whose eyeballs are they anyway? They're candy eyeballs, silly. We're not monsters. Well, we are monsters. But, well, you know what I mean. In that case, maybe a few eyeballs wouldn't hurt. Yeah, Ren, come on. Grab as many as you can before time runs out. Yellow eyeballs are rare and worth more points than regular eyeballs. So, yellow eyeballs are green apples. Let's remember that. And also, you want to avoid biting the ones with pink eye. Pink eye, go! All right, pink eye means rotten apples. We got it. We got this. Let's do it, guys. Okay, we got special right there. Oh, man, this is kind of hard to tell. It kind of looks like it's a sick apple, if I'm being honest. Or a sick eye, if it's green. So, it looks kind of off. But it's 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 easy enough to pick out. We just got to avoid the red, you know? We, we just got to aim for everything that isn't red so far. Maybe a new type will come in soon, though. We, we definitely got to be cautious. Don't get too antsy. Don't get uh, too confident or else that, that's when you mess up, you know? Bam. There is our first round completed for bobbing for eyeballs. <laughs> wow, you are pretty fast. Almost trial bug fast. I just wanted to get it over with. Actually, the eyeballs didn't taste half bad. Well, this candy will taste even better. You got 20 pieces of candy. Love to see it. Enjoy. Thank you, Bob. All right, Bob. Okay, I've got another one in me. That's the spirits. Yeah. We need three rounds of this probably, right? So we got to do all three. Let's crush them all right now. Bam. Let's go. Let's go. We're going for all the green apples. Not even bothering with, uh, you know, too many white ones if we can avoid them. We're just focusing on the green. That's for sure. Okay. I see you. I see the green. I see the green. Let me get it. Let me get it. Oh, one just popped up. Let me get it. Let me get it. Yeah. And we got this one. And we got this one. And we got the one right beside us. Okay. Here we go. Bam. Love to see it. Yeah. There we go. It was good for me not to move at all. Awesome. Awesome. Come on. Yeah. Oh, we crushed it. We crushed it. We got bang on 40 points. Super, super quick. Oh, man. I'm going to run out of candy at this rate. Maybe you just don't have an eye for business. Good one. Here, take the rest of my candy. It's stale anyway. 50 pieces of candy. Okay. Is that it? Who cares? We're spending it, not eating it. Um. Okay, I've got another one in me. Wait, are we done? That's the spirit. My, my throat is dry. One sec. Okay, sweet. So we have we have three rounds. We have three rounds of this. At least three rounds of this so far. But yeah, my throat was a little bit dry. I think I've been uh, yelling a little bit. I've been getting a little bit excited by what's going on here. So uh, pardon me if I have to clear my throat a few times here and there. I do have a coffee with me right now. So I may be uh, sipping on that throughout this gameplay. You may uh, catch me drinking that. Don't mind that. I need it to keep me running and also to keep my throat moist. You know what I'm saying? Nobody likes a dry throat. That's for sure. Okay. Bam. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, give me, give me some more. Give me some more. Yeah. Nice and done. All right. You, you, you. Here we go. Bam. Give me a green one. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, uh oh. God. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, 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 oh. Perfect. Oh, my God. That was so close. <laughs> Yo. Let's go. 46 out of 45 points. That was way too close. That was incredible. That was faster than even I could do. I've been bombing for, I've been bombing for a while now. Candy eyes are just my latest victim. 
Oh, did I say candy eyes? I meant candied eyes. We dip them in sugar to mask, <laughs> to mask the cornea aftertaste. Blech. <laughs> oh, and here's your prize. You got the Wiggly Woozers Creepy Treat card. Sweet, we needed that one. You beat my record and took all my prizes, but I'll still be here if you want to try to beat your own record. Awesome. So we completed another quest that was bobbing for eyeballs completed. All right, it's going 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 great, guys. It's going it's going like super smoothly so far. Let's check the right side, and then we're going to go ahead and check out the Yeti Fest. Whatever's going on over there. Oh, oh, we got a Crest Whaler Elder. We'll talk to them in two seconds. Um, okay. What's up? This costume is so degrading. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check out both these houses, then talk to the Elder. And wow. What is going on? This is the fourth one. This is the fourth house so far. All the Crest Whalers have been not enemies. Let's see it. Is this last one? I think this is the last one. Is this going to be a, an enemy? Oh, okay. We almost had five for five there. That would have been crazy. But honestly, I'm kind of happy we had so many that were friendly. So I'm, I'm happy that we made it this far. You know? I, I'm satisfied. You know? Uh, we're happy to kill these enemies. That's for sure. That's for sure. All right, let's do it. Let's finish them off. We got this, guys. Why are we uh, wasting time? Let's finish off the priest. The hurler has so much health. That's crazy. But yeah, we're, we're going to focus on the priest mainly. All right, and since we leveled up, we're doing even more damage. That's awesome. Whoa. Here we go. Yeah, we're definitely focusing on that priest. We're going to get it taken out, hopefully, by the end of next round. Are you healing yourself? Yeah. Thought so. Thought so, you jerk. Bam. Yeah, lock that. Easy peasy. All right, hit me. Yeah, counterattack time. Let's go. We got a counterattack going, and then it's our turn. And it's our turn to fight back. Let's do it. God, the counterattack does a ton of damage. It's actually crazy. All right. These enemies are level 13. Whoa. Okay. Jeez. And we just made it to level 12. That's kind of crazy. I guess they got to keep them difficult. These enemies got to stay difficult. It's fair. Should I, I should have focused on the champion, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Because we want one enemy to be knocked down as soon as possible. So if we were to focus on the weaker enemy first and then, you know, go for the stronger enemy later, that's more beneficial because we take less damage because they, they have less opportunities to attack, you know? Whatever. It, I don't think it really matters. I don't think it matters too much unless we're in a very difficult boss fight. That's when it would matter. But right now, we're just chilling. We're just fighting these enemies. We got this. All right, and let's go ahead, finish off the champion on the bottom. They'll die next round. And let's finish off with a bat in my hair. There's a bat in my hair. Oh, no. Okay, great. So now we just got this enemy left. They're about to die. Let's do it. Bam. All right, last attack. Let's wrap things up. And let's talk to the elder real quick. Hey, nicely done. Wick kids. Dream dips. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Hello, Crest Whaler Elder. Hey, you're the elder here, right? Can you flick your lever so we can get through that gate? Everyone knows I can't open the gate until the end of the Yeti Fest. How long do we have to wait for it for you to finish celebrating Yetis? Well, once every three years, the Yeti comes out of his cave to signify another three years of prosperity. But this time he hasn't emerged. With Araxia taking over, it's just another topping on our bummer sandwich. Maybe he just overslept or something. The Yeti is a lot of things, but Tardy is not one of them. Something is Ari. Well, how about we solve the case of the missing Yeti and you open that gate in return? If you get that Yeti to show his mug, you'll have yourself an open gate. One Yeti coming up. Sweet. That sounds great. And we are only missing one more quest after this. That's great. That's actually awesome. Yeah, we almost have everything completed. Three more houses. We have all of that done. Oh, no. <laughs> I walked right into this. I walked right into this battle. Oh, that sucks. At least we don't have to avoid a guard in this area anymore after we beat them. Oh, but you know what? I can run away. We don't have to fight them. We don't have to fight them, guys. I can just run away. Let's do that. See ya. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's a white flag because he's a pirate, right? He surrendered. Yeah. No point in fighting these enemies because they, they just patrol, you know? They're not, they're not a ma massive threat. So I'm going to be smart about it and just run away. There is our final zip line. So if we can make it over there, we're able to make it to the final zip line. Awesome. So if we go, I think down here, that's how we get there, right? Oh, it's opened up. Sweet. 
Awesome. The the sleeping troll bog has removed themselves. And now we can make it to the Yeti, most likely. Awesome. Things are just falling into place here. It's going great. Oh, is this the fifth kid? It doesn't make any sense to dress up as candy. They know we're kids already. They're just lying to themselves. That's funny. Okay, sweet. One more kid. And then we have uh, located all of the escapees. And here we go. Here is our final zip line. Let's get it. Bam, we are playing hooky in our pirate costume. We have used five unique zip lines with the pirate hook. Awesome. Awesome, we are doing great. That leaves us with what? Three more achievements left? We're very close to completing this game. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. All right. Um, yeah, that's it. We're doing great. Okay. All right, and we just go over to the right side, locate the Yeti. There's also a zip line over there, which we don't need for the achievement, but there's more than five unique zip lines, which I think is pretty cool. I like that. What's going on here? What is this? Hey, have you seen a Yeti around here? No one will ever see a Yeti again. My Yeti costume is ruined. Ha! You are the Yeti. Was the Yeti. I accidentally left my costume in the dryer on high heat. It shrunk four sizes, but you have to make an appearance. Everyone is freaking out, and we need to get that gate open. Look, only a vertically challenged monster or a human child could do this. That's it. Hold on, you want me to wear that thing? <laughs> yes, you can save Yeti Fest. All you have to do is show your face and they'll go nuts. There we go. And we got a Yeti costume. Hmm, well, at least the costume is clean. Yeah, it came out of the dryer. Very true, very true. Sweet. So now we're a Yeti. Awesome. Let's see what the Yeti does. What powers it has. Yeah, look, everybody's happy. Aw, and they're all like together. This is great. This is great. You know, they're all like enjoying the festival together. Oh, that's cute. I'm glad they're no longer our enemies and they're they're like our allies for this for this battle. Let's take down Araxia now. This should be the end of it, right? Once we speak to the elder, we're gonna have that gate open. We have three more three more houses to target. And then uh we'll be done. Let's go. Let's go. Notice anything different, like maybe all the prosperity getting underway, or the increase in Yeti sightings? I don't know how you did it, but Yeti Fest is saved. Yeah, that's for sure. I don't know why you're not doing it, but open that gate. Oh yeah, sorry. There we go! Let's go! That is another quest completed. I think we have just one more. Yeah, one more aside from locating all the missing kids. And then uh, we have completed every single quest in the game, or in this DLC, I should say. But we would have ha have uh, every single quest in the game completed because we also completed the base game quests. Let's not forget. Let's not forget about that. We have a lot of candy. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Is this? Where does this zipline lead? Whoa. Okay. Is this right above the Yeti cave? Yeah, I think it was. Okay. What's going on? Oh, we got a shifty. Hey, wait a minute. Are you selling battle stamps to the guards too? Shit, he's got to eat, kid. Do you need any battle stamps or what? Yeah, honestly, Rotten Pumpkin Guts, that's a good one for us to purchase. Let's definitely do that. Uh, double attack power, maybe. I don't think so, though. Causes damage to attackers. That's an interesting one. That's actually a really, really interesting one. Um, Let's go ahead. And, ooh, damages and applies a fire damage over time to an enemy. Hmm. That's cool. That's cool. I think we are going to purchase Black Rose. That's one I might want to use. And then let's just go ahead and double our attack power. Let's see if we can uh, find some benefit in that. So for Everett, he has large HP recovery. For Reynolds, he has strong counterattack upon a successful defend. If we just have a guaranteed damage on enemies, yeah, let's give him that. Let's give him the Black Rose. And we are going to get a... Uh, oh, wait, where's where's the uh, the Moldy Pumpkin Guts? Attacks do splash damage and may apply a damage over time. And attacks do splash damage and apply a strong poison damage over time. So that is a guarantee for poison damage. Great. Great. Oh, here's our last quest. And there's our last kid. It's nice being a guard because you have access to all of the creepy tree cards in the Rapugian ar archives. But Araxia keeps the nutty dum-dums card to himself. I'm dying to see one. If you found one, I'd give you any card you want for it. Must, be, no, must not be that valuable. I have a dupe. Here, you can take it. Oh boy, no wonder Araxia keeps that one private. Amazing, here, take this one. Thanks, you're all right, Scully. I don't care what Araxia says. What? Wait, what does Araxia say? Oh, nothing too bad, but I would have someone taste your food from now on. Damn, stirring the pot, Ren. Damn. And here's our last kid. 
Did you know that candy corn has less sugar than raisins? Six out of six kids have been located. I'm the last of the escapees. Thanks for saving us. Nicely done. Now we have the one quest left, which is to complete the game, complete this DLC. But there is one thing that we are missing, so we can't finish things up just yet. Oh, who are you? Who are you? Hold on. Let's see what's down here first. I think this might be where we have to go. Oh, wow. <laughs> what's going on here? Uh, we do need to locate one thing very quickly. Hopefully, we can locate it in uh, the upcoming area. We need to locate the eyeball costume. Did, did I say that earlier, right? Yeah, the eyeball costume. We are missing one component for the eyeball costume. So if we can locate that before we uh, make it to the final boss, that would be great. After that, we only need to... Yeah, we have three more achievements left. One of them is for the eyeball costume. The other one is for completing all of the quests in Rupugia, which is for completing the game at this point because we've completed all of the quests by now. And then we need to uh, finish the final battle. So, yeah, that's exciting. We are almost there. We just need to uh, go ahead and trigger treat at these three remaining houses and then hopefully we locate this final costume component we're not fighting until we do though that's for sure if you if if i squint a little you look like giant pieces of candy yum sorry guys i stumbled over everything right there i stumbled over my words so hard we're trying to pronounce that my bad my bad but here we go we're getting into the last fights of this dlc i'm excited i'm excited that we're about to have this game done Honestly, I'm excited to continue on into the next one as well. Like I said in the previous video, I don't know exactly when we're going to be starting that, but we'll be starting it soonish, you know? We'll be starting it kind of soon. It's not going to take too, too long. And uh, in, in the uh, description, there will be a playlist that contains both Costume Quest 1 and 2 videos. So if you're interested in checking out the entire series, like in continuity and one playlist, that is there for you to check out. And uh, yeah, that's just uh, what's up. I missed that counter completely. I missed that parry. That is my mistake. Um, yeah, that's just what's going on. I'm excited. I'm excited for uh, you know the, f the future of this channel. That is for sure. I'm excited for us to play more and more games on this channel. That is for sure. If you're interested in seeing what the latest games I am playing right now are, go ahead and click on the top right right now. You will go to a playlist called Jump Into a Series or something similar to that, where we, you know, that that is the first part of every single series that I have for my Let's Complete content. It's fun. It's, it's a fun time having all that. And I think Everett is about to die. Oh, wow. Everett almost died there. That would have been that would have been scary. Um, but yeah, that playlist on the top right, it has the first part of every single Let's Complete series on my channel. So check that out if you are interested. It's, uh, it's a good place to sort of jump into a series. That's why I named it that, right? It's a good place for you to get started on a series and see what you like and what you might find interesting on my channel. By, by by this point, honestly, I don't know how many there are, but I'm I'm definitely going to have a lot of series in that playlist. I'm very excited to continuously build it. Like, I'm not stopping anytime soon. I'm telling you guys, we are going to keep this channel alive for a long time. I can nearly guarantee it. And I'm very excited for the future. That's for sure. That is for sure. All right. Let's go ahead and get these two houses taken care of. And like I said, we still got to find this last costume component. I really don't want to fight any more enemies. I just want to fight the final boss and finish things up so let's keep going let's just keep going all right i bet you we can take him out quickly because i don't know if you noticed the pirate or well ren in this case since she has the battle stamp not the pirate costume does a lot of damage like look at how much damage it does to the enemies on the side it does like 134 206 attack damage regular it does a lot now that we're like i think it's the battle stamp right I think the battle stamp increased the damage that it actually did. So it's fantastic. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving how decked out this squad is right now. That's for sure. Bam. Yeah. Everybody relax. Okay. Don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Okay. You, you trying to heal? You trying to heal? I see you. Bam. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, let's see what we can do. We're taking out the priest. I think that's probably the best call, but it might be a good idea to take out the cultists because they are setting us on fire and they actually do a decent chunk of damage. Bam. Priest is taken out. We are focusing on the cultist that is weak. They should be taken out with this attack, actually. There we go. And now we just got one left. Awesome. We're crushing it. Please tell me the final house is not going to be an enemy. I would very much like it if it wasn't an enemy. But something tells me that this final section that we're in, because we start off with Grubbins, then we went to Trial Bogs, and then finally we went to, uh, we went to the Crest Whalers. So something tells me that this final section is only enemies, right? I think that's probably what's up. That's that's the pattern I'm seeing right now. It's 
Let's see it. It's going to be an enemy. Want to bet? Want to bet? I'm betting it's an enemy. Let's see it. Yeah, called it. What did I say? What did I say? It's an enemy. <laughs> I'm going to be very, very happy when uh, we beat Araxia. We don't even fight Big Bones, I don't think. We're, we're just fighting Araxia. If we have to fight Big Bones, that'll be something else. Oof. We just sent him back to hell, right? Or to Repugia, I should say. We didn't even send him to, to hell. He just got sent back through his portal. I bet you in the second game, we fight Big Bones. That, that's my guess. That's my guess. I'm, I'm honestly kind of excited because I don't know if you guys have seen uh, gameplay from it at all. The second one. It does look better. <laughs> I mean, it's a sequel, duh. They have to improve on certain things to make it a worthwhile sequel. But it does look like better. And it's also on the Xbox One, so it, like, it'll run smoother. I think it released on the Xbox 360 arcade as well. But I'm going to be playing it on the Xbox One. So I'm really excited to try things out with that. Like, I don't know. It's just... It's nice to be able to play these old games, that's for sure. Like, this is an Xbox 360 era game, so it's nice to be able to play that. But I am very excited to uh, see what they do on the Xbox One, like, with the capabilities of the Xbox One. I still, I'm not entirely sure what to expect of the game. Like, I wonder if it's exactly the same, or maybe there's a little bit of difference. Maybe it's the same amount of difficulty, because this isn't hard by any means. It's just like... Uh, it's very formulaic. Like you, you do this, you do that, you you complete all these things, and you're done the area. You know, so I'm I'm interested to see if they change that uh, change that system in the sequel. I guess we shall see. Uh, I'm just rambling on at this point. You know, I'm just waiting for this fight to end. It's just like on autopilot right now for me. So sorry, sorry if I got a little bit sidetracked and wasn't paying attention to the fight. I got uh, I got a little bit in my head there. Okay, there's a bat in my hair. Let's go. Yeah. Go, Reynolds. You got this. Okay. Nice. We got one more enemy left. And they're about to be taken out. Sweet. Yeah, you do it. Attack, Reynolds. You're, <laughs> you're, you're dead. You're dead thanks to that. Oh, wait. Oh. Ah, I forget. I forget. Reynolds has a guaranteed damage on enemies. So when they attack him, they get damaged. I gotcha. I got rid of the counterattack. I got to remember that. But it does a very low amount of uh, damage. So that that's kind of the uh, the the bad part of that. Battle stamp. Yeah, nice. Teamwork, guys. Let's go. Let's get this eyeball. Let's get this eyeball component now. <laughs> Damn, that Crest Whaler was stuck. Did you see it? The Crest Whaler was stuck in the freaking door. All right, let's see. Look at this. Our quests, we are now... We completed all the quests. Look at that. So now all we need to do is complete the game. That's awesome. Um, Do we have to talk? Oh, are we getting started right away? Oh, boy. What's going on? It's Big Bones! Araxia brought Big Bones back! Oh, boy. <laughs> That's funny. Grr. Lucy! Yeah, Everett. Okay. Oh, Reynolds. Come on, buddy. You gotta back up your boy. Oh, whoa. Yeah, just feeding Big Bones? Interesting. No, Lucy! Everett, Ren, Reynolds, watch out! Here comes... Araxia! Oh, no. Okay. Araxia. What? Why does everyone think I'm the bad guy around here? Yeah. <laughs> you oppress Oliver Pogia. You've imprisoned children from our world. Uh-huh. And you kidnapped Lucy. Things are so slow. Why is it so slow right now? Oh, yeah. Well, there's that stuff. But my high candy taxes are being used for good things, like bringing cadaverous big bones back to full health. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did take him down, I guess. Once fully revived, he will be able to crush the candy out of every world in the universe. For some reason, I thought we pushed him back into Repugia, but I thought we... I guess we killed him. But that's horrible. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that makes you the baddest of all bad guys that have ever existed. Jeez, I can't make anyone happy here. I should just give up. <laughs> yeah. See you later, Raxia. No, wait, that's not what I meant. Hey, Big Bones, what's the opposite of giving up? Let's see. What is it? Taking down. Oh, that's cool. Blam. That's cool. That's actually really cool. I like that line. What's the opposite of giving up? Taking down. I dig it. I dig it. All right, let's finish him off. Let's defeat Araxia. Oh, are we fighting Big Bones first? Or is Big One's just in the background watching us fight? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Let's do it, Araxia. 
Oh, Araxia and Big Bones. Yo, this is cool. They both have 4,000 health. We should be okay. We should be okay. We don't have a lot of health, though. Okay. All right, let's get started. Let's do it. I think we're pretty safe. Everett is, like, going to be very, very reliable with the unicorn outfit. Everett is going to be doing a lot of healing for us. Bam. Let's go. Nice, guys. You guys are doing great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we protected against that. And remember, the unicorn costume can actually revive downed enemies. It doesn't just heal. It also revives downed enemies. So even if uh, one of our characters get knocked out, as long as Everett stays up, we can keep the fight going. That is for sure. Bam. Yeah. Get damaged. That's what I'm talking about. Big Bone's in the back there. Dead men tell no tales. Let's go. Yeah. Nice attack, Ren. Nice attack. So I guess um, we're going to take down Araxia before we unlock the eyeball costume. I totally meant to do that first, but hey, it's okay. You know, at least we're getting around to uh, finishing things up. That's all that matters, right? We'll get that at whatever point. We'll, we'll locate the final costume component. We'll get that. Right now, let's focus on the battle at hand. There's a bat in my hair. Are we uh, damaging Big Bones yet? Or is it just Araxia that we're damaging? Yeah, it looks like Big Bones is just charging up in the back. Well, we just got a natural 20 in the face and didn't take any damage. Yeah, but he moved back a little. Keep attacking. Interesting. Press A. Let's go. All right. All right. Good parry. No, Big Bones is coming for us now. Oh. Uh-oh. This isn't good. This isn't good. Okay. Good thing Everett can continuously heal, though. Yikes, man. Yikes, man. This is about to get dangerous. Hit me again. I dare you. Okay. You want us to? Sure, I'll do it. Oh, wait, we shouldn't have done that, should we? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think we should have done that. Oof, my head. Wait, should we have? Ouch, hey, my face is a no-fly zone. Yeah, Big Bones. This looks like Big Bones is knocked out. Or, like, knocked back down, so that way he can't attack us again like that. We just gotta stay alive. We just gotta stay alive. Oh, no, Reynolds, no! Oh, poor guy. Okay, well, Everett, start... You gotta get to start on healing your squad, bro. Come on now. Uh, yeah. After this turn, we're gonna be able to heal. We're gonna, of course, revive Reynolds ASAP. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, sweet. Big bones, please don't attack us, okay? Oh, no. Oh, we got taken out. No. Okay. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Now we get to, like, think about how we're gonna come back around to this. All right? We're okay. We're okay. Woo. That was good. That was humbling. Okay, we've been humbled. Now we know what we need to improve on. So for the battle, if we take a look at their setup, let's check out the uh, battle stamps. So one thing we should not take is Black Rose. Honestly, not ex extremely beneficial. So what I think we should do, oh, small HP recovery per turn for the entire party. That's cool. We can double the attack power. We can double the defense, but we need to purchase that, which the guy isn't too far away. So I think that's what we might do. Yeah, honestly. So we're going to be getting rid of this because this does nothing. Rotten Pumpkin Guts does nothing for the final boss. So we are going to be doubling the attack power. That is going to be a very good thing for us. And then the damage when the enemy attacks, we are going to... Let's see. We are going to auto self-resurrect. That is what we're going to do. Because Reynolds got taken out pretty quick. So I think that's a good call. We're going to be giving Reynolds... Let's see. Will Reynolds benefit from maybe the Yeti costume? Honestly, let's try that. Let's see how the Yeti costume does. And then let's go ahead and locate the final component for the eyeball costume. Now that we've uh, been taken out, let's go ahead and unlock that achievement before we wrap up this game. Uh, sorry, guys, that we're getting a little bit sidetracked, but I just want to take care of that. You know, I feel like that's a good thing to take care of. Uh, greatly increased defense. I think we might actually equip that as a battle stamp instead of. Yeah, instead of the, the revive one. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and give him increased defense. There we go. All right. <laughs> now, with all that set up done, let's go ahead and make our way over to... Oh, is this where the eyeball component is? Did we just find it? No. Wait. Oh, we might have. We might have. Let's see. Let's see what's down here. I didn't actually see that we could enter into this room. That's great. What's over here? This is where it ends? Huh. Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining, I guess. Very interesting. We'll just uh, keep it going. We'll just keep it going. We'll check what is up. I think the eyeball component is like it's got to be somewhere that, hmm, where found Rapugia. 
Of course it's found in Rapugia, you know? Of course it's found in Rapugia, but where? Where in Rapugia? That's the question. It's probably in the caves. Hmm. I don't know where. Where could we even locate it? Because we, we found everything in the opening area, if you ask me. Ah, I'm running away from this enemy once again. I do not want to fight anybody else. I just want to get going. I just want to get going, guys. Okay, please, please leave me be. All right, I think, you know what? I'm going to look up the location of this eyeball costume just so that way we can get things going. So I'm running away. See you guys later. I'm taking a real quick look on where the eyeball costume components are. It should take two seconds. Okay, here we go. So um, I'm using true achievements for those of you that may not know. I'll link in the description the, the solution that I'm using. But this has the locations for the final component that we need for the eyeball costume. And I need a crep paper. So if we head back down to the area that we start off at, apparently if we go to the very first bridge, we can then follow the fence and there should be a hole. So let's look down here. I think this is it. There we go. Bam. There we go. There is our uh, eyeball component. Bam. We have collected crep paper. And we now have the eyeball costume. Jeepers peepers. There we go. Nicely done. We acquired the eyeball costume. Now, all we need to do is go on to complete this DLC. We need to defeat Araxia in battle. And that will complete this game's achievement for us. That will complete this game's achievements for us. My bad. I, uh, I misspoke there. That will get that will allow us to unlock the final achievements. There we go. Once we defeat Araxia. I, I nailed it. I said it at some point. I succeeded in speaking. Who's running that way? Who is running that way? Was it w w were one of my allies just running ahead for whatever reason? Weird, huh? I'm going to go ahead and honestly, I think I want Ren to have the eyeball. I want Ren to have the eyeball and I want to have the Yeti myself. I think I'm happy with this setup. I want to I, wa I just want to be different. You know, I just want to be unique. Where do we go now? Straight, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Left? I don't know. I don't know. How do we get out of here? Down? Let's see. Let's see. Okay, we made it out. Great. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, so we're going to go ahead, take the robot all the way up. Like, all the way up. We have to go all the way back up. So I'll see you guys in two seconds. Once we make it back to the uh, boss fight, that's when I'll see you guys again. All right, here we go. We are headed into the final battle with uh, a set of costumes we wouldn't have uh, normally gone in with, honestly. I am unsure what the Yeti does, and I am, I am unsure what the eyeball does. All I know is that the unicorn is going to be our support. So we have currently we have Ren with double attack power, and we have Reynold with double the defense. So we should last a good amount of time. I think we got it. I think we're now decked out. We got this fight. We are going to be winning. Let's do this squad. I paused. I didn't know you could pause. That's so cool. You just press X and you pause. That's great. And I can skip it with B. That's even greater. That's so good to know. All right. Oh, look at that Yeti. Let's go. That's dope. Okay. All right. Love to see it. Why does that Yeti look like Luke? You know, from Sky from uh, Star Wars. Looks like Luke Skywalker. Did they do that on purpose? Because of the Hoth scene, you know? Interesting, huh? I don't know. Just in my mind, I immediately saw Luke Skywalker. Weird, huh? I think it's just the haircut. Bam. Ooh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. All right, let's go. Bam. Nice attack. Nice attack. And, uh, oh, Iagra Falls. I like that. <laughs> I like that name. Okay. That's a cool special move name. Oh, damn it. I didn't block it properly. That is not good for us. Everett, please do not get taken out. All right, let's go. Match the timing. All these are match timings, aren't they? Holy. Yeah, we have, to, we have to match all these timings. Or I guess we just have to press a button. But the other two costumes, we have to match timings. Oh, no, we don't. I'm tripping. I'm just completely tripping. They're all unique. For some reason, I thought they were all the same thing. Like, they're all the same kind of inputs where you have to match timing. But it's it's false. I'm wrong. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm just completely wrong. I'm lying to you. Abominable armor. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So we're going to be like... We're going to have good defense set up for the entire squad. Let's go. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to go ahead and heal Reynold while we're at it. That's great. So the entire squad is defended with a shield. We're healing Reynold and we're about to have Iagra Falls. We're going to see what this does. And we have a full on attack right over here. We're going to make him cry. We're cutting onions. Oh, no. That this is a really good one. That's actually that's my favorite one. It no damage. Oh, but that's actually my favorite attack so far. That is hilarious. You make the eye cry. That's Iagra Falls. That's the attack. That's funny. 
All right, we got the squad. I believe in us. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Oh, boy. All right, look at that. Our defense stood up to big bones. We we lasted. You know, I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us. We did well there. All right, let's, let's uh, do this. We're doing much more damage to Araxia this time around, so I think we're going to win. I think we're going to win. Um, oh, I, I miss input. Miss input. My bad. My bad. My bad. Hit me again. I dare you. What if we don't hit? You know, what if we don't hit? What if we focus on like big bones? We can't. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Araxia because that's literally the only option I have. Araxia took zero damage, but I think, I think he's about to fall, right? No, he's not. What's going on? Last time that last time Araxia said that he hit big bones when uh, we hit him. So I don't know what, what's the difference this time. I don't know. Oh. Okay. All right. There we go. It happened now. I, I don't know why it didn't happen last time, but whatever. Whatever. That's good for us. That's good for us. We want big bones to be knocked out as often as possible. We don't want him attacking us. All right. Let's go. Bam. Yeah. Nicely done. Hey. There we go. All right. We're going to go ahead and heal up Ren in the next round. I think that is going to be what is up. Big bones is back up, and we're going to be using abominable armor. We're going to be protected. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. Am I pretty panacea? Go ahead and heal Ren. Yeah. We're winning this. We're winning this. I'm calling it. We win. We win. We are not going to lose this time around. All right. Iagra Falls. Let's go. Yeah. You start crying. The original Fruit Ninja. Wait. When did Fruit Ninja even come out? It hasn't. It's been... When did that come out? That's actually a good question. I don't think this is the original Fruit Ninja. But that's interesting to think about. Oh, damn. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. We took that hit. We took that hit well. Okay. Uh, basic attack. Let's go. Bam. We match that timing. Easy peasy. The camera's always wonky sometimes. Like, oh, we had the Yeti attacking, but the Yeti was not nowhere in sight during that. So it's... uh, I wonder why. I wonder why it's like wonky sometimes. I don't know. Interesting stuff, though. That is for sure. Hey, we defended ourselves against that. That's great. Okay. Bam. Let's go. And bam. Nice and done, guys. We're almost there. We're a quarter of the way. Or no, we have a quarter left of Araxia's health. I think we can do this. This is our round. This is our attempt. What's happening? Oh, my head. What is he? What's falling on him? Is it like, oh, candy's falling on him because he's getting fed by candy, right? So we push him back far enough and candy hits him. I, I see. I see what's happening. Oh, Big Bones is back up. Not good. Not good. All right. Time for armor. That's great. We're in a pretty good loop where we put on armor and then Big Bones hits us. So we're doing well so far. Let's keep this up. Let's keep this up. My pretty panacea is going to be healing Reynold. That is good for us. For sure. For sure. We love that. And then we just go right back into attacking. We're going to hit him with the Iagra Falls right away. Yeah, cut up that onion. Like I said, the original Fruit Ninja. But that's not even a fruit. It's a vegetable. Oh my god, what am I thinking? Come on now. Come on now. Okay. Um, healing now, eh? Okay, you jerk. Araxia. What a loser. Healing himself. At least have my ally heal me. I don't heal myself jerk anyways all right let's do it let's do it we're gonna finish things off i can almost taste it let's go and bam good attack eyeball good attack almost there is he is he gonna defend himself no it was just a healing okay he's dead this round though he's dead this round we got it all right let's do it although big bones is up so we could be taking a lot of damage this round this might be dangerous for us we gotta be careful we definitely have to be careful all right, the eyeball is finishing off Araxia though, so this is a good, this is a good thing. And bam, there we go. Araxia is taken down. Oh, I missed that. I missed that. Uh oh, Ren is about to be taken out. That's for sure. Okay, I, I was scratching my nose. I was scratching my nose when that uh, prompt showed up. I missed it. My bad. My bad. All right, come on, Araxia. You have one health left. Don't be a jerk. We're gonna pick Ren back up. Let's go. Okay. All right, come on, guys. We got this. We got this. Yeah, fully healed, too. Look at that. Uh, we're not going to use Iagra Falls. We're just going to do a basic attack. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Here we are. 
What's going on? Oh, healing? Bro, you were at like one health. You had nothing. It's not okay. That's not okay. You shouldn't be able to heal. Jerk. We're going to put on armor on the entire squad. Protect us. Of course. That's very important. And then I think this this should be the uh, final round for Araxia. If he doesn't decide to heal himself for whatever reason. There we go. I think that's it. He's still up. Oh my god. I'm going to use Iagra Falls. This should do something, right? Cut that up. Go ahead. Start crying. Start crying freaking jets at him. Let's go. Okay. So what's up? Why why can't we What do we do? No, genuinely. I'm I'm like confused here. What do we actually do? Huh. So are we supposed to knock back Araxia to land on uh, Big Bones? Because we can't attack anybody but Araxia. So do we have to continuously attack Araxia so that way he lands on Big Bones? Is that what's up? Looks like it. Look, look at that. Oh, we missed it. Oh no. There we go. Nice it on. Gur, if this is how you treat your teammates, you should switch sides. There we go. Oh my god. Did he just die? Did Araxia just die? Bro, and did Big Moans just die? Did we just win? <laughs> That's it. That's it. Okay. Hey, I'm chill. Revolutionary hero. Let's go. Bam. We defeated Araxia in battle and. We have Burn Brain Beatdown. Oh, that's for defeating Araxia in battle. And we completed all quests in Rapugia. Bam. There we go. That is officially 20 out of 20 achievements unlocked in Costume Quest. And I think that comes out to a total of... One second, one second, one second. That comes out to a total of 250 gamer score. Pretty measly. But uh, hey, you know, a completion is completion. That is for sure. Now, let's wrap up this game and uh, let's send it off. Lucy! We're so glad you're safe. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, isn't that so nice? Everett, you dismissed all senses of self-preservation to rescue me? Hell yeah, he did. He rushed in. Well, no scientific advances have ever, have ever been made without a few risks, right? Yeah, Everett, you go. Observation, that was so brave. Oh, cute guy. Oh, yeah, same here, Ren. I'm saying that. Oh, and look. Real scientific samples, proof of Big Bones' existence. What'd she get? What? What's she talking about? Hey, so can we celebrate on the other side of the portal now? Good question, Reynolds. Good idea, because the portal itself is a highly unstable rift in space-time that will soon collapse. What? This is the first we're hearing about this. Turning all molecules that pass through it into highly corrosive glob globules of toxic radiation, which? Which? Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's run in. We should probably do that too. Yeah, good thinking, Reynolds. I just wish I could take everything here back with me. Could you guys give me a minute to collect a few more samples? No, we won't. It's not happening. Sorry in advance, Lucy, but this is for everyone's well-being. Yeah, Ren, you go. Yeah. Yeah, we're home free. We are home safe. What? <laughs> what is this? Oh, no, guys. Uh, guys, now what? Oh, no. Fascinating. Yikes. Okay, that was really cool. That was actually a really, really cool ending. That was great. Now I'm really, really excited for Costume Quest 2. What do you guys think is going to happen? That was awesome. That was awesome. Okay. And uh, with that, that is officially Costume Quest 1 completed. I do hope that you did enjoy your time watching through the series. I definitely did. This game has a lot of charm that uh, was unexpected for me. I do know Double Fine is a pretty creative studio and they're, they're honestly like genuinely engaging games and their, their dialogue is pretty fun. But I don't know. I wasn't expecting much from this and it surpassed my expectations. So I had a lot of fun with this and I hope you did as well. And I hope you're looking forward to Costume Quest 2. If you are, please do consider dropping a like. And of course, if you did enjoy this content and you want to catch up on my latest series, go ahead and click on the subscribe button to join in on the fun. We're definitely going to be continuing on with more and more videos on this channel, and we are not stopping anytime soon. Costume Quest 2 should be right around the corner for us, and I'm very excited for that. All right. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you did enjoy this game, and I hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next one.